Thank you and good morning. Uh, I particularly want to thank Shengen Fan for your extraordinary leadership and IFPRI for putting together this outstanding gathering of more than 800 colleagues from the region and from all around the world to focus on and take forward a vision of investing in the world's most vulnerable people so they're protected from shocks, from disasters, from crises that we know push them into a condition of extreme poverty. USAID has been proud to establish a strong focus on resilience over these last several years. On behalf of USAID, I've asked Assistant Administrator Nancy Limborg to lead an agency-wide effort to make sure that resilience is embedded into everything we do in certain parts of the world. It's fitting that you're gathering in Addis and in a region where just a few years ago, a severe drought threatened the livelihoods of more than 13 million people. I myself recall visits to the region during that time and seeing the suffering, some of which was unnecessary, has really stuck with me and reminded me why investments in resilience will continue to be important for decades to come. In the United States, we believe an effective focus on resilience begins with strong political leadership, especially from countries themselves. Investing in those parts of countries where people tend to be marginalized, have fewer resources, are less wealthy, but are more subject to crises, to the consequences of climate change, and to natural disasters that sometimes set them back, is a critical first step for the rest of the world to follow your lead in protecting those communities. At USAID, we've set up joint task forces to bring together the best and brightest minds across our agency and work on big resilience initiatives in the Horn of Africa, the Sahel, and throughout Asia. In the Horn, I've had a chance to see firsthand programs that build new public-private partnerships with insurance companies and provide unique forms of support to farmers to help support them when rainfall is very low. Those types of programs and investments in livestock and livestock marketing we know have worked to prevent people from needing critical humanitarian assistance during times of crises. It's so much better for those communities to be able to continue to stand up on their own feet at those times. In the Sahel, we focused on major efforts in food security, health, water access, sanitation, hygiene. And by bringing these efforts together in an integrated way and targeting those communities that are most affected by crises, we know that we're putting a floor underneath millions of people who otherwise would be, would be pushed into a more severe condition of poverty and suffering, especially when times are tough. At USAID, we care deeply about this mission because we know that investing in resilience is, is perhaps the key strategy to help end extreme poverty in the next two decades. We've mapped out where the poorest of the poor live, and we know that an earthquake in Kathmandu would devastate the livelihoods of hundreds of thousands, perhaps millions of people, which is why I myself took an earthquake walk to highlight the efforts we've been making with local organizations to improve standards and allow that community to be more resilient to coming crises. We believe in resilience because we believe in a new model of development, a model that brings together humanitarian efforts, humanitarian partners, those seeking to understand and protect the most vulnerable communities from the changes in climate that we know are taking place, and our core continued development in investments to make sure we're doing the very best we can to protect the world's most vulnerable people. So thank you for your leadership, for gathering at this extraordinarily important meeting, and for taking forward a vision of resilience that we know, decades from now, will be the difference between whether or not one to two billion additional people on this planet move out of extreme poverty and have a chance to survive and thrive like so many of us. Thank you.